She's another fighting spirit, no? Another fighting spirit. And we use that. I have a tattoo on me and we was holding hands. And I call it the road to success. Because I used to go to the doctor's and uh, doctor's office and different things. And I used to see, the, you know, she used to have to be treated. Like needles stuck in there, going through surgeries or whatever. And I remember this one particular time where a doctor was sticking her with a needle. And, you know, she, she turned her head and looked at me. It was just crying. And, she was reaching out to daddy, you know, as a fighter, my mindset started to go like, I want to help. I can help. I got special skills and I'm not afraid to use it, like take it, <laughs> you know. But on the other hand, I like, this is for your own good, baby. I had to, I had to, I had to tame the beast. It's like, this is for her own good, you know. It always made me want to cry because my daughter was in pain. That's me. That's some part of me. You know, it makes me feel a certain type of way because that's a part of me. And uh, but I couldn't help her. But everything that she's been through, I calculated. And I'm like, my daughter has been through so much as a as a young, as a baby, and then to a, a, a little girl, and to a young adult. Now she's a teenager. She'd have been through so much, and it's like it's motivation, and it hypes me to be able to do what I do in the ring. I'm like, if she can go through the the suffering, the trials and tribulation, the heartaches and pain. What I do is it's, it's easy because we're feeding off of each other energy. You know, we connect as I'm holding hands and we walk through the road to success. It's like I'm supporting you and I'm feeding off of you. As you support me, you feed off of me. You know, we're feeding off of each other. And it's an amazing feeling, you know, to have someone that you love so much and, um, and to be able to do certain things for them and make them happy, you know. Because you know their life, at any given time, their life can be up and down. You know, kids with spina bifida, spina bifida, they go through a lot of depressions, you know, in their, in their life and stuff like that. So if, if I'm doing what I gotta do in life, you know, and being able to support her beyond her belief, like I said, I would do when she was one years old, I said I'd be a champion, then that makes me happy. That makes her happy, you know. I'm, I'm one of the most, I'm the more, like, the most happiest dad in the world right now. You know, I love my children, love how smart they is, how intelligent they have become, and how their outlook on life, you know, they understand, although they can have the world, but they don't ask for it, you know. They're very appreciative, you know, of, of, of what they have. They don't boast, they don't brag. You know, they love people. We teach them to love people. Like you said, we, we are together. Mm. And we teach that in my household. You know, it's not no color thing. It's not, none of that. You know, it's we, like you said. And it's amazing. It allowed me, uh, me being a father, allows me to be the, uh, the fighter in the ring. Because they work hand in hand, you know. When I'm not a fighter, I'm a father. When I'm not a father, I'm a fighter. <laughs> Back and forth. It's a beautiful thing because it both takes, you know, responsibilities to obtain. You know, both consider uh, emotions that is involved in it, you know. And we both, you're like, you're fighting for the love, you're fighting for your children to, uh, to give them a better life. And then when you're in the ring, you're fighting for, you're fighting for bragging rights. You're fighting for, you're fighting for the passion of the sport that you love so much you want to win. So, you know, I bring a lot of passion. I bring a lot of pride in the ring because of my daughter. And in life, it worked hands, hands in hand with me. You know, what makes me be a proud father. Like I say, I'm a proud father. And not only do I do it for Nia when I'm in the ring, but I do it for all my children. So when one single man fights me, he not fighting just me. He fighting me plus my children. <laughs> because I gotta, I'm, going, I'm going home to him at the end of the night. And when I come home, and say, Daddy won, baby. If they ain't already there or they ain't seen it on TV themselves. After the fight, y'all go to bed. You know? So, so <laughs> it's not just a belt at stake. It's not just your undefeated record at stake. There's real, genuine daddy and family yes. pride at stake. Wholeheartedly. That's what I do it for. I do it for my family. You know? I feel that if I didn't have that, then it would be for self. I don't know how much I would put in the dedication if it was just for self because 
I, I think I would get too content in life because I'll be like, I have it all. I have this. I have nice things. I have that nice. I have money. I have. So it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be so much of too much of a desire for me because it'll just always be by myself. And self is selfish in certain type of ways. But if you have people that you're doing it for, you know, then you don't want to let them down. You don't want to be a disappointment. And I don't want to be a disappointment for my children because I come from a place where I done had unfulfilled promises. Where people done told you promises that I would do something and that they, they didn't fulfill it. You, you mean you as a kid? Me as a kid, of course. You know. So when I look at my children, I tell them I'm going to do something. I say that you're going to have something. It's going to be done. That is, that is, it's going to be done. Trust me. But yeah. I've, heard, I've read, not heard, I've read that you did have a, a very loving childhood yourself. I did. I mean, you know, my parents did the best that they could do. You know, they taught me the right from the wrong. Mm, mm. But I'm not saying that we didn't go through trials and tribulations as a child. We didn't mm. see certain things as a child. We went through a lot of things as a child that a, that a child should never go through. You know, but it makes like us stronger. You know I mean, I, you know, I don't want to put all my business out. I'm the type okay. of person I'm very private yeah. with certain things, and I don't want to put all my business. Know that we, I went through certain things, and I know sometimes releasing and venting out to people to say what you went through, because someone else is maybe going through the same thing, and they want to understand that. But you know, it was but, tough anyway. Yeah, it was yeah. tough. Yeah. It was just know my situation was tough, and that you can get out of any situation mm. with your mindset. Mm. Mm. You know, certain things you can't control. But that's okay. Only only do the things that you can't control until you can control the things that you can at this point in time. And everything will be all right. It'll be all right because you said it will and you believe it will. Your belief is everything. Your belief is everything. It's everything, you know. And that's the thing about me. I'm a man that believes. I'm a man of pride. I'm a man of courage. And a man with a lot of speed and a lot of power and a lot of athleticism. Come on now. You know, all of the above. But that comes from somewhere. But Jay Deer says he could kickbox you. <laughs> you. You know. You know, you always need competition. You always need someone to, uh, to, to, to have confidence in themselves. Not only you just have... It's boring to just have confidence in yourself and the next person that you've got to compete against don't have no confidence. Don't want to say well. Don't want to say what they would do, because they don't. They don't necessarily believe that it's, it, they can do it or not. They don't know. I like to speak what I'm going to do. I like to express myself because that's just me expressing to the world that I'm confident in what I say. I oh no, you're a massive communicator. You're a very eloquent man with your hands and your words, mm. frankly. Um, and I bet a week's time cannot come quickly enough now. Man, hmm. man, this is a time like it's, it's the biggest fight of your career. The biggest really, fight of my career. It's the one that projects you, isn't it? This is the one. This is the one that that solidifies my name. You know, especially here in America. America got a, a, a great man. America got a bad, bad man in, in boxing. A yeah. bad man, but a good man as well. A I bad reckon. Bad man, but a good man with a great heart. Absolutely brilliant. Really appreciate your time, as always. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Deontay. Blessings. Thank you yes, very sir. much. It's been a pleasure. Amazing. My man. Yeah, Next time. Thank you. I know I can tell when 